All right, I thought about this uh, for the last couple of days, how I was going to start this uh, presentation and what exactly I was going to pick. And I decided, you know what, awareness is the most important thing, so that's what we're going to start off with. Uh, start off with talking about a hard versus a soft target. Soft targets appear to be easy targets for the predators of society. Um, they appear to be unaware. They're in what's con called conditioned white, and this comes from Cooper's uh, color code. Uh, it's Jeff Cooper. They look insecure, they have uh, poor situational awareness, they're oblivious to those around them, and they have a sheep mentality. Clueless about predators, they're predictable in how they behave, and they're ripe for the picking by a hungry predator. They often put themselves in bad situations. I'll give you an example. This weekend we had a gal who uh, woke up, she'd gotten very drunk, she found herself completely naked, surrounded by people she didn't know, uh, she had vaginal bleeding and bruising all around her uh, thighs, stomach, and obviously had been raped. Got so drunk that she passed out, and that's the situation she woke up to. So, conditioned white, unaware of her surroundings, oblivious to those around them. We want to make ourselves hard targets, and a hard target has the capacity to perceive and accept any threat. They're vigilant and ready for any threat. They know and accept that there are people out there who will take advantage of them, wolves, predators, that will rob, rape, steal, beat, or do whatever they choose to do to people. Being able to perceive and evaluate a situation properly and quickly is critical to winning that situation. There's a predator-prey timeline. The sooner that you recognize that there's a predator, the more time you have to prepare for that. Okay? Cooper's color code specifically talks about this in situational awareness. Cooper's color code, conditioned white, was basically oblivious and unaware to your surroundings. And the time when we're in conditioned white generally is when we're at home. Doors are locked, we feel safe. Okay? Conditioned yellow is where we're aware of everything. It's a relaxed but aware of everything that's going on around us. Think of it like driving a car. You're driving a car, you gotta watch for other cars. You have to be aware of these other cars and what they're doing and if they're pulling into your lane. Is that car that's driving, I've got the green light, I should be able to go with that car that's coming yeah, with this sideways. He doesn't seem to be stopping, you know? So I gotta be aware of my surroundings. And that is conditioning up. It's a relaxed uh, and alert condition. If you're in condition yellow, you're less likely to be picked as a victim because you're perceiving all the things that are around you. And that doesn't make you an easy target. Unless a predator or someone who wanted to rape you, rob you, uh, kidnap you, whatever the case might be, uh, was desperate, they would probably be looking for that next target. Okay? One of the problems with sheep is they are always in this condition white oblivious to what's going on around them. I see people running at night and they're wearing headphones, so they're not able to listen to what's going on around them. Uh, I see people that do just, you know, crazy stuff, and, you know, they're reading a book or something like that as they're walking along, and they'll walk in the traffic like that. They're in condition white. <coughs> condition orange, that's when you've detected a danger. And as soon as you detect that danger, you want to start formulating a tactical plan and determine if this is a real situation. Now, once you've gotten into condition orange, we want to drop back into condition yellow. And why is that? Other uh, predators. Rats like to travel in packs. Yep, exactly. So, you want to think about that. If you're so focused on this perceived danger, this perceived threat, you're not aware of somebody trying to slip up behind you, okay? So, we go into condition orange, we recognize that there's a threat, we want to drop back into condition yellow so that we're aware of what's going on around us. If we perceive a danger, uh, we want to start formulating a plan. So, you're walking home late at night, just got done uh, studying or whatever the case might be, and 
somebody's in the alley walking towards you. You should be aware, okay? What's that guy doing? Is he looking for his cat? Or is he looking for the victim? You know, is he, you know, is he walking towards me? If I'm walking down the sidewalk and all of a sudden I see somebody and they're acting, acting kind of strange down the opposite side of the walk, but walking towards me, and all of a sudden they start coming over to my side of the sidewalk. Hmm, why are they switching? Maybe it's closer to the house. Maybe not. Maybe they're specifically looking to target me. Maybe I switch back over to the other side. What does that tell me? The guy went from that sidewalk to my side of the sidewalk and comes back over across the street again. He's probably interested in me. Um, you might be uh, in a parking lot late at night. You got your kids. You're putting away uh, groceries and getting the kids into the car and stuff like that. And some goofball is walking through the parking lot, mumbling to himself about six and nine and just acting very strange, okay? You should be aware of that. Now, if the guy comes around my car and starts walking towards me, condition orange, okay? We've got a problem here. There's one thing that we can do that will really tell us a lot about this situation, okay? One simple thing, stop. And it's not just stop. Stop! Make them aware that you're very aware of them. You want to make them aware that you're aware of them, and on top of that, noise. If somebody wants to rape me, rob me, kidnap me, they want quiet. They don't want to get an attraction you know, to other people. They start calling 911 on their cell phones and crazy stuff like that. Shh, we want things quiet. I want to make noise. That in and of itself, if uh, normal people are going to stop, and the guy might go, wow, you've had way too much coffee, dude. Okay? He might be on his cell phone talking to his kid, talking about algebra and six and nine and the difference between subtraction and multiplication or whatever the case might be. I yell, stop. That person, reasonable person, is going to stop. The guy continues walking towards me. I've got a problem. Now is when I've got to formulate my plan. Kids are in the car, partially in the car, whatever the case might be, maybe can't leave. Okay? Now I gotta say, okay, the guy's walking towards me, and when he gets up and touches me or anything like that, that's when it's rock and roll time. Condition orange, we've perceived a threat. Condition red, we have a threat. I yell stop, and the guy is still walking towards me. I've got three things that I can do. Three survival mechanisms. Fight, flight, and freeze. Freeze, pure and simple, works. If you see a predator, let's say you're out hunting and all of a sudden you see this lion. Well, the first thing you go is, Minnesota, there shouldn't be any lions here, okay? But you see this lion, you might freeze in place. Not going to make any noise, not going to attract its attention. Freeze will work unless that predator perceives you, sees you, knows where you are. And at that point, freeze doesn't work. Freeze is no longer an option for your survival. Now you've got fight or flight. Those are the only two options that you have left. If you can, avoid a situation, avoid it. If you're unable to avoid the situation, try to defuse it. If you're unable to defuse it, try to run. And if you're not able to run, then you might just have to fight. But fighting is the last option, not the first option on our list. And again, the sooner that you perceive that threat, the sooner you can make decisions and formulate a tactical plan. Condition black is the actual fight. You are in a fight. And at that point, freezing and fleeing are not going to work for you. You're probably going to have to strike the person, possibly injure that person. At that point, you can flee. Or make up a tactical plan. Okay? That's Cooper's color code. Cooper originally developed this for the military. I believe he was uh, in the Air Force. Developed this for the military. Uh, this became a huge thing in law enforcement. Uh, we've picked it up and it's being turned into the martial arts and, and a lot of the other community. The more that you have your awareness, the more you're able to perceive the danger or perceive the threat, then you can formulate plans. Of awareness. I started with this particularly because 
This is the most important thing. Uh, anything through self-defense, being aware of what's going on. That's it.